this is the second video in this series where we are trying to understand how to deal with the text or string data using str functions in this video we will learn how to use find find all replace count is numeric get dummies drop columns and rename columns to clean and filter the data hello everyone welcome to the channel to understand the concept very clearly please watch the video till the end once you are done with watching the video please do not forget to like comment subscribe and hit the bell icon here we have imported pandas as pd and numpy as np and this is the data text data which we are going going to use throughout this tutorial this is the sample data not sample this is the actual data where we have taken only six points means six records here we have to do some sort of cleaning under which we will be covering all the options which we just saw first we will start with email column and we will try to figure out what all are not a valid email address right and what all are the values which we can correct to make it a email address so let's start with this first of all we need to find what all are the incorrect email addresses right so for that we need to figure out like as we all know at the rate is a symbol which is very mandatory for all kind of email address so this is something which we will try to find in this column if there is some value which this which does not contains this value that means it's an invalid email address let's see that mail check we will gonna create a variable which will be called as mail check and inside that we will use email variable for that we gonna use str dot find in this we will try to find the values at the rate wherever it is not available so when you use find option that gives you this value here three means the at the rate symbol appears at the third position it starts with 0 0 1 2 and 3 minus 1 means that particular value does not contain any at the rate right so here we have two records which does not contain at the rate symbol but if you can see here it contains 5 and here also it contains 5 so that's something which we can change and make it a real email address so for that we can use the replace function let me create another variable replaced mail and in that I will use again email variable with that I will use str and replace function in this replace function first we need to provide the value which we want to replace then provide the value with which you want to replace it and here we will check the data wherever we had the minus one value for that you can check it out this is replaced the pipe value has been replaced replaced and now this looks pretty much as an email address as a valid email address but now we have the situation where this value contains two at the rate that's how it is not a valid email address and this one contains at the rate but that's at the beginning so this is something which we will treat separately now we will figure out all those values where at the rate appears more than once right so for that we're gonna say count at df and then again we will use email address not email address this time we're gonna use replaced email and on that we're gonna use count function what is it that we want to count at the rate is the value that we want to count so like wherever it is more than one that is something which is not required over here so these are the two entries 
this one and this one these are the two entries which are in invalid i can understand this one is also something which is invalid so that does not require any separate identification zero itself flagged it right so wherever the position for at the rate is zero that's an invalid email address so that we can filter it out as of now we are just flagging the inaccuracies and at the end we will drop all of them now we are done with figuring out the correct and valid email address now we will work at ctc variable in the ctc variable you can see there are some values pure numeric and some are alpha uh, sorry alphabet and numbers mix of alphabet and numbers now we need to figure out the, here we have just six records so it is easy to find but when you have larger data set it will be difficult to figure it figure it out so for that we're gonna use is numeric function which will tell us what are the records which are actually numeric what all are the records which are not numeric okay so let's try to do that here we are creating a separate variable which says num ctc in that we're going to use ctc variable and on that we will use str function and out of that str we're going to use is numeric so after typing a keyword when you hit tab key from your keyboard that gives you the suggestion sometime it takes time so then you can write it manually is numeric and then let's run this so like here you can see it says false false and false these three values are non-numeric so these are something which we will just drop out from this table now this is how you can use the is numeric so till now we understood find replace count and is numeric now the time comes to understand get dummies how do we find the get dummies so here you can see the gender variable it says male female 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 male these are in the form of text but sometimes if you are working on model development usually we do not prefer the categorical data in the form of text for that we use the numeric numerical categorization in the form of zero and one so for this we will create variable which will either be called male or female and in that we will populate zero or one value so for that first i'm going to create get quotes a separate table in which i will use df and out of that i'm going to use gender variable on that I will use get dummies and then we will see how does get dumb get code looks like so like you can see over here in the female column if you see zero that means it's not a female that means it's a male and one represents that it's a female same happens with male so any one of these two variable we can use in our main data set how can we use that for that we need to concatenate this table with our actual table which is called df so for that i am going to create a separate data frame and in that i will say pd.concatenate concat and in that i will put the first data frame name which is df the second data frame which is get code and from this second data frame i am only going to pick male variable and axis i will say one how does concat work that's something which we will cover in a separate video here for the simple use we are using it so just try to understand with this you don't have to do much just use pd.concat and in that you can provide all the list of data frames which you want to concatenate this has to be in this form means the all the data frames which you want to concatenate that will be in a list and then axis that's how this will be concatenated let's see that data Oops. ah 
I'm sorry, I just misspelled this table. Now we have this created correctly. So we have all the things flagged in this data frame. Now the time comes in to filter out it. So first we have to filter out the irrelevant rows and then we will filter out all the irrelevant columns. Let's do that. For that I am going to create a separate tab table, say df2 and in that I will say df1. First we will remove all the irrelevant email addresses. All right. So wherever mail check is zero that is not making any that will not make any sense to us so that's something we just gonna get rid of df1 dot mail check equals to or let's say not equals to zero those all we will keep so now in this you can see that particular thing is not available now a time comes we will check count at so in count at wherever we have at count of at the rate symbol more than one then that will be delete or that will be deleted here i will create a separate data frame in that i would say df2 in that df2 dot variable name count at and here I'm going to say equals to one that means I am trying to say wherever count of at the rate symbol is one just keep those records only so now we have only those records where the count of at the rate is only once now if you look at this this all looks like a valid email address don't go at the domain name as of now those are dummies understand but for now the format is valid so that is how we replace the email address now it times time comes to re, uh, drop the irrelevant ctc things right so how can we do that for that we are going to create a df4 if you want you can keep the same data frame but to be on safer side i'm and for better understanding i'm creating separate uh, data frames here we're gonna say in df4 whatever non-numeric values are there we just need to drop that so we have just one but how can we drop that for that i will say df3 inside that df3 and num ctc not equals to false let's see So here that has also been dropped now whatever we have that's a valid thing now the time comes in to drop the irrelevant columns how can we drop that for that we will use the drop function how does that work so for that I will create final df and in that I'm going to say data frame dot drop and in that I will put a list of all the columns which are not required to me so what are the columns that I don't need gender is not required because for that I have already created a separate variable which is called mail now then email is also not required because in place of that we will use replaced email then mail check that was just a flag so that will also be removed then count at needs to be removed as well then num ctc also needs to be removed and here we're gonna say axis equals to one this will not be final data frame in the next step i'll create the final data frame so like here you can see all the irrelevant columns has been deleted right now i need to rename this particular variable how can we rename that all right so now we will just rename this particular variable because this does not look nice right so for that i'm going to create final df 
and then I will say old data frame name which is df5 and then the function rename in the parenthesis operator we're gonna say the parameter columns and in that parameter we will pass a dictionary so in dictionary we will first put the old variable name which we want to rename so that is replaced email and then we're gonna say the new variable name and we will check it out so like you can see you have the clean data the variable is renamed and irrelevant columns are deleted your gender column is converted as binary your ctc is filtered for irrelevant values this is how you can use all of these functions to clean your data and have a relevant set of data i just hope that we clarified the doubt just in case of any question do not forget to put that into the comment section we will definitely try to get back to you thank you very much for watching it wish you very good